na limang daan ang ibayad sa kanya. Dismayado ang pasahero na si Haley Dasovich na isang kilalang film vlogger. Yeah, start the meter, Kuya. How about Ate 500? No. Okay, Ate. I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna do this with you. Okay, Ate. I'll transfer you to Ate Taxi, Ate. We've been there for almost... You're not... <laughs> Hey everyone, I wanted to take some time in this video to address my recent viral video dealing with taxi scams in Manila. I've been receiving so many messages and screenshots of all the news footage since I published this video on my YouTube channel. I know that they brought the taxi driver into the airport authorities, his license was revoked, the car was impounded. I actually just watched the news footage for the first time on my brother's reaction video that he just uploaded and the first thing I thought as I was watching it is it just made me feel sad for the taxi driver and that he's suffering the consequences on national television. So I just want to say please don't send any hate messages or anything aggressive or violent to this taxi driver. I have absolutely no hateful feelings towards him. He made a mistake and having to suffer the consequences on national television and be chewed out by the head of the airport authorities on national television is is saying enough. This also isn't so much my taxi driver's fault. I know that he's just trying to survive. I know that he probably has a family and he's just trying to make his own. But taking advantage of foreigners or taking advantage of anyone for that matter is no excuse. The other issue with this type of behavior is that it's just dangerous. Like the reason why I was going to err on the side of just paying an extra amount of money in the taxi was because I had just come from a 13 hour flight from San Francisco and it was 6 a.m. when I got into the taxi, which was like the beginning of the rush hour in Manila. There's so much traffic, and I had enormous suitcases with me, so there was no way that I was going to get out of the taxi and um, wait on the side of the road and try and inhale down another one. It's just dangerous, and as a taxi driver, you should create a safe space for your passenger because your job is to get them from A to B. Like, I'm just happy that he didn't kick me out of his taxi and I was just too exhausted to even like put up a fight and say anything else against it other than to just repeatedly ask him to turn on the meter. It's not about the amount of money he was asking me to pay, it's about the principle of following the rules. The amount of money he was asking me to pay is in US dollars, it's $10. 500 pesos is $10. We also have to remember that not all taxi drivers are like this. It's just incidents like this make the white taxis have a, a bad rep for their service. Truthfully, he wasn't nearly as bad as other taxi drivers that I've that I've dealt with. As other taxi drivers, as my friends and family have dealt with. If you haven't seen the comments on the video that I published on YouTube about the scam or when I shared it to Facebook, all of these comments are saying almost the same thing, that so many of us have dealt with this scam before. There are even comments saying that they've dealt with it in the past couple days even after this whole thing blew up. So the difference is that I just happened to catch it on camera because I was vlogging that day. I am a vlogger and that I take videos of my daily life and I share it on YouTube, both the good and the bad days. I just want to be clear that I was not uploading this video to single out any one person in a vindictive way, but rather to expose or highlight the fact that this is a corrupt and systemic issue that has sustained itself for so many years. As many years as I've been coming and going from the Philippines. The truth is there's no silver bullet to ending this type of corruption and from the responses that I've been seeing on the YouTube video and the Facebook video and every everything else that everyone's been sending me messages about, it's obvious that everyone in this country is on the lookout for solutions or impactive evidence to curb this type of behavior. And I don't have a solution for this other than creating extreme public awareness through these videos. It is this type of, of exposure that this taxi driver, my taxi driver was made an example of and it probably will scare other taxi drivers to just not, to not behave like this. We all want the same thing and that's we all want to show the world how beautiful and welcoming and desirable the Philippines is as a country to want to visit to, immerse yourself in. So let's continue to work together to halt this type of behavior and report it when it happens. So lastly, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below, what you think the airport authorities and the taxi company should do about this if this happens again if this has happened to you guys how have you dealt with in the how have you dealt with it in the past but yeah let me know your thoughts continue this dialogue in the comments below